blessed day everyone. Welcome to this video series on journalizing transactions for merchandising business. First, let us briefly discuss what a merchandising business is. Actually, there are three forms of business organizations according to the activities they perform. Service concern, merchandising concern, and manufacturing concern businesses. Service concern businesses are those which render or provide service to others, such as schools, medical clinics, law firms, and barber shops. Merchandising or trading concern organizations buy and sell the same products. Meaning to say, what merchandising concern businesses regularly sell are exactly the same goods which they buy or purchase. Examples of merchandising businesses include department stores and grocery stores. Manufacturing companies, on the other hand, buy raw materials, convert or use those raw materials to form finished products, and then they sell the finished products. A furniture-making business, for instance, buys raw materials like wood, nails, paint, and varnish. Then, it converts those materials to form tables, chairs, or cabinets. After conversion, that is the only time the company would sell the products. So, notice the difference between a merchandiser and a manufacturer. A merchandising business sells the goods which it buys without making any changes or alterations to the products. While a manufacturing firm does not sell the goods it purchases, instead, it converts those materials into finished products first before it sells the finished products. In recording transactions of merchandising business, we will use these new account names or account titles which we do not encounter in service concern businesses. Memorizing the normal balance or increased side of each of these accounts is essential if you want to be able to prepare correct journal entries. In this video, we will be going through these account names so you can easily remember their normal balance. For a merchandising business, merchandise inventories are the products which it regularly sells. For instance, a drugstore's merchandise inventories include medicines and vitamins because those are the items which we can buy from it. What type of account? Is merchandise inventory. Is it an asset? A liability? A drawing account? Capital? A revenue account? Or expense? It is an asset because it is owned by a business and it is something of value. So, being an asset, what is the normal balance of merchandise inventory? debit. Next, we have the account name sales. From the term sales, this is used when a company sells merchandise inventories. Sales is a revenue account. That's why some companies use the account name sales revenue. Being a revenue account, what is the normal balance or increased side of sales? Credit. Sales returns and allowances is the account title used when the merchandise a company had sold was later returned by the buyer. However, it is also used when, let's say, the product sold by the company is damaged, but the buyer, instead of returning it, asked for a reduction in the price, and the seller agreed to such price decrease. 
That's why notice the word allowances in the account name sales returns and allowances. So this account name can be used even when there is no actual return of the merchandise to the seller. Sales returns and allowances is shown in the income statement of a merchandising concern business as a deduction from the sales account. Meaning, sales returns and allowances is a contra sales account. Therefore, those two accounts, sales returns and allowances and sales, have opposite normal balances. So, if the normal balance of sales is credit, then the normal balance or increased side of sales returns and allowances is debit. Sales discounts is the account name used by a seller when there is a reduction or decrease in the invoice price of merchandise sold because the buyer paid early. Hence, the account name sales discounts is shown in the income statement as a deduction from sales. If sales discounts is a contra sales account, meaning shown as a deduction from sales, then the two accounts have opposite normal balances. So if sales has a normal balance of credit, then sales discounts has a normal balance of debit. Purchases is, of course, when a company buys or purchases merchandise inventories. Buying or purchasing and selling are obviously two opposite transactions, right? Because buying is acquiring or getting goods, while selling is giving up goods. From that, we can realize that the account title sales and purchases are also opposites because sales is the account name used when a business sells its merchandise inventories, while purchases is used when it buys merchandise inventories. So, if they are opposites and the account name sales has a normal balance or increased side of credit, then purchases must have a normal balance of debit. Purchase returns and allowances is the account title used by a buyer when it returns to the seller the merchandise inventory it had previously purchased. Or when the buyer is granted a price reduction by the seller because the goods delivered to the buyer have damage. Purchase returns and allowances is shown in the income statement as a deduction from the purchases account. From that, we know that if purchases has a normal balance of debit and purchase returns and allowances is shown as a deduction from purchases, then purchase returns and allowances has a normal balance of credit. The account name purchase discounts is used by a buyer when there is a reduction or decrease in the invoice price of merchandise purchased because the buyer paid early. Just like purchase returns and allowances, purchase discounts is shown in the income statement as a deduction from purchases. Therefore, its normal balance or increase side is also credit. Freight in or transportation in is the account title used by a buyer when it shoulders the cost of the delivery of the merchandise purchased. For instance, 
you want to buy merchandise from a certain company. But you also want the product delivered to your house. The seller agreed to have the merchandise delivered to you. But it says you must be the one to shoulder or pay for the transportation cost or delivery cost. From your point of view as the buyer, aside from the purchase cost of the product, you will incur an additional cost, the transportation or delivery cost, which you need to record using the account title freight in or transportation in. Again, on your part as the buyer, that transportation cost is an added cost which you need to pay aside from the cost of the merchandise you purchased. That is why in the income statement, freight in is shown as an addition to purchases to get the cost of goods delivered. If freight in is shown as an addition to purchases, then freight in and purchases have the same normal balance of debit. If freight in is from the viewpoint of the buyer because the merchandise goes in to the buying company, that's why it's called freight in, then freight out is from the point of view of the seller because the merchandise goes out from the selling company. Meaning to say, freight out is the account title used by the seller when it is the one who shoulders the cost of the delivery of the merchandise inventory to the buyer. In my previous example, where you as the buyer ordered merchandise to be delivered to your house, let us say that instead of you shouldering the delivery cost, the seller agreed to be the one to shoulder it. That delivery cost is an expense on the part of the seller and should be recorded by the seller as freight out or transportation out. Since freight out is an expense from the viewpoint of the seller, then its normal balance or increased side is debit. Now, let's have a review of the normal balance of each of these account names used by a merchandising business. Merchandise inventory is an asset. So, its normal balance is debit. Sales or sales revenue is a revenue account. Therefore, what is the normal balance of sales? Credit. Sales returns and allowances is a contra sales account because it is shown in the income statement as a deduction from sales, right? So, if the normal balance of sales is credit, then what is the normal balance of sales returns and allowances? Debit. The account title sales discounts is also shown as a deduction from sales. It is a contra sales account. So, if the normal balance of sales is credit, what is the normal balance of a contra sales account like sales discounts? Debit. A purchase transaction is the opposite of a sales transaction. Therefore, the account title purchases is opposite the account title sales. And hence, the two account names have opposite normal balances. So, if the normal balance of sales is credit, then the normal balance of purchases must be debit. Purchase returns and allowances is contra purchases because it is shown in the income statement as a deduction from purchases. So, if the normal balance of purchases is debit, then the normal balance or increased side of purchase returns and allowances must be what? Credit. Purchase discounts is another contra purchases account. Therefore, its normal balance is 
credit. Freight in is shown in the income statement as an addition to purchases. Therefore, the two accounts have the same normal balance. If the normal balance or increased side of purchases is debit, then the normal balance of freight in is also debit. Freight out is a distribution cost or selling expense on the part of the seller. If it is an expense, then its normal balance must be what? Debit. So there you have it guys. The normal balance of the common account names used by a merchandising company. The very foundation of journalizing transactions. So please keep them in mind so that preparing journal entries will be easy for you. Now, let me emphasize that all of these account titles you see in this slide are used only in connection with merchandise inventories or the goods held by a merchandising business for the purpose of regular selling. For instance, we only use the account title purchases when what the company buys is merchandise inventory. If the company buys any other assets like office supplies or furniture or equipment, it cannot use the account title purchases because those assets are purchased by the business not for selling but for the purpose of using in its business operations. In the same way, we can only use the account title freight in for the delivery cost of merchandise purchased, but not for the delivery cost of supplies or furniture or equipment or machine purchased. Got that? The same thing goes for the other account names here. We use them only in conjunction with merchandise inventories, not for other assets. Please remember that. In part 2 of this video series on journalizing transactions of merchandising business, I will discuss the two types of discount, the trade discount and the cash discount.